Why does my vaginal pH level change at all? Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Aziza Sisse and I'll be answering the commonly asked women's and gynecological health questions. Let's get going. Why does my vaginal pH change at all? The vagina is slightly acidic with a pH ranging between 3.8 and 4.5 and it is this acidity that helps to create an environment that prevents harmful bacteria and other bugs from thriving whilst promoting the growth of good bacteria, which prevents infections. So maintaining this pH is essential for optimal vaginal health and anything that disrupts this pH will affect its balance and can lead to infections, inflammation, and irritation. The pH level of the vagina can change for various reasons, and it can change during the menstrual cycle itself, with the hormonal changes that occur throughout the cycle, particularly when there is a drop in the sex hormone levels just before the period starts. It can also change due to menopause, when the estrogen levels drop, and this makes the pH less acidic and increases the risk of infections occurring. The vagina is amazing and pretty self-sufficient, it is self-cleaning, so it doesn't need any fancy soaps or washes or anything like that. And in fact, inserting these products into the vagina or even just water can disrupt its natural balance and pH, which can again lead to infections and irritations and so on. So please allow the vagina to do its work. It is really good at it. Sexual activity can also affect the vaginal pH because semen is alkaline, the opposite of acidic. However, this would usually only disrupt the pH for a few hours and then it returns back to its normal acidic state. Other factors include hormonal changes in pregnancy, antibiotic use, dietary factors such as eating high sugary foods, which can promote the growth of harmful bacteria. Apart from that, the pH of the vagina is usually well maintained, but as always, if you are finding that you're getting recurring infections, inflammations, or irritation, please see your doctor so they can do an assessment to find out if there were any underlying cause so that you can get the treatment that you need and deserve. Did you find this helpful? Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on because I got more questions that you have given me to answer and we will get right to it. See you in the next video.